I'm Frank McCormick, director of the UCSF Helen Diller Family Comprehensive Cancer Center and president of the American Association for Cancer Research. I want to take a moment to talk about the enormous excitement that surrounds cancer research and the power and responsibility that all of us have to help keep our nation on track in the effort to eradicate this horrific disease, which is killing more than one person every minute of every day. Now is a time of unprecedented scientific opportunity. Researchers all across our country and throughout the world are making incredible strides to unravel cancer's complexity and devise novel ways to stop its progression. We are leaving behind the era of one-size-fits-all cancer treatment and moving quickly into the realm of targeted treatments and personalized medicine. We are also discovering improved ways to prevent cancer and to intercept it at its earliest stages. However, to reach the day when cancer is removed as a major threat to our nation's citizens requires that Congress provide critical funding for the life-saving research supported by the National Institutes of Health and National Cancer Institute. But unfortunately, the budgets for NIH and NCI have essentially remained flat over the past decade. And when factoring in the rate of biomedical inflation, the agency has lost about $6 billion in purchasing power, nearly 20% of the NIH budget. This means that the cost of supplies and labor needed to perform research has grown more and more expensive, while the NIH budget has remained essentially stagnant. In fact, today the chances that a scientist will be awarded an NIH grant to pursue potentially game-changing research have reached an all-time low. Labs and institutions across the country report having to cut budgets, which means we are keeping patients waiting while losing ground in our ability to transform cancer treatment and care. Considering this state of affairs, our brightest young people are facing strong disincentives to continue in science or even to enter research careers in the first place. In addition, if these budget trends continue, the consequences will extend far beyond the scientific enterprise to threaten the prosperity of local communities across the nation that thrive on the economic activity generated by NIH-supported research. Funding decisions about cancer research and biomedical science are being made in Washington, D.C., and the current atmosphere on Capitol Hill is caustic and economic and fiscal uncertainties are pervasive. We face many challenges in the years to come. Therefore, I urge you to do something today. Just take a few minutes and visit aacr.org policy to get involved and stay informed. Contact your senators and representatives and tell them that there are some important priorities for the federal government, especially the life-saving cancer research and biomedical science that is supported by the NIH and the NCI which also spurs economic growth in communities across the country and strengthens the nation's ability to compete on a global stage. Millions of cancer patients are relying on the broader cancer research community to change the face of cancer. However, this will only be possible if our nation provides the resources necessary to eradicate cancer as a major threat to lives. And it is up to us to make sure that this happens. The American Association for Cancer Research supports cancer research, and so should you. Take a stand. Visit www.aacr.org policy to learn how you can help.